What's up guys, how are you doing? I'm here again, outdoors, to do overnight there with no gear at all. What is that? Survival kit. Okay, let's see, can we actually survive with this? All right, guys. So GearBest was generous to send me some gear to test it out. They challenged me to try to survive with this survival kit. So I'll leave a link of this item in the description. And of course, we're gonna try to make shelter, get the fire going, and see what we can do with this. I can tell you on the first, it looks really sexy. We have 550 paracord here. We have a whistle, which is very loud. We have one of these button compasses. It works pretty fine. It shows true north, I can tell. And inside we have some stuff. I actually, I don't even know what exactly is inside because I just took a quick look on the review. So let's find out. I'm back in this pine forest, which is very beautiful. The day is beautiful, it's spring. Today gonna be between 19 and 23 degrees Celsius during the day. During the night, it will be lowest five degrees celsius now birds are singing i really like spring the winter was very long this year so i'm really looking forward to the trips during the spring if you're wondering what's that scrap on my left cheek that's what happens when you buy cheap razors don't do it and this time with me speak good boy now i'm gonna try to find nice places at the campsite and place where we have a lot of material around so here over here two of these trees i'm going to use it to make shelter now let's check what we have inside of that survival kit now before we get there i want to do the shout out and big thanks to revolution race for supporting this vid in point of clothes now i would really appreciate if you guys take a minute and go there on their web page and check it out and also you guys from the us should be able soon to order from their website this time i wear this fusion fleece it's very nice, it's very warm, and you can also use it in warmer weather with no problem at all, you won't sweat. And over here on the sleeve, you have this hole, and you can use this to grab warm stuff from the fire. And over here, I have Northern Pro trousers. Thanks again, and thanks to Peter, you're the man. Let's continue. We have compass, we have whistle, you have my dog chewing the tree. We have a lot of parkour. Here we have main compartment. It is in this plastic little box. Let's open it up. All of you probably saw this little light. So we have a Tinder. We have wire. Very nice. We could set some traps with this. Over here, I think this is a ferro rod inside with two safety pins signal mirror we have a tin foil alcohol pad we have fishing kit and those are actually sometimes very nice and i live near the seaside so i know something about the fishing and this hook seems fine this small also i don't know how much fishing line we have inside i think it would be very useful over here we have a blade and we have this little survival saw. Well, that's pretty fine. Compass is working fine. And let's see if we can do some things with this. First, I need one pole to put it up here. And then we're gonna lay a roof down there. And we're gonna have some kind of A-frame debris shelter. Well, not bad at all. It takes some effort, but it's just fine for this wire. You wouldn't expect that for sure. Now, also you can use this to set a snare. It would be a great snare if you have to. So far, so good. I'm gonna use it 
to sew off some smaller pieces. Now if you're cutting branches or stuff like that, that won't be a problem at all. It's just that tree over there is around six inch in diameter, so it's really not bad. I have to use a paracord over here because I want it to be this tall. No need to have a higher roof, maybe like this. And of course, I don't want to waste the paracord, so I'm going to take it all and just use the length that I need. There you go. Whew. All right, I've covered the left side. After I finish it all, I'm gonna put spruce needles all over it just to make it windproof. And now I'm gonna start with the right side. You want this stick? But <coughs> heel. <coughs> Turn. Good boy. All right, guys, I just finished sides. Now I'm gonna start building the entrance. Okay, shelter is finished. I'm gonna give you a walk around. All we need to do now is cover the sides with the spruce needles. Look like this. Now, I want to find that creek again and get some water because I had no drink since this morning. Before I go there, I'm gonna try to make a cup out of this aluminum foil. more of a ball <laughs> it will work not even a drop that's not good yeah that sweat like crazy now I don't want to waste any more calories around here well His paws are red, so let's continue. Want something to drink? All right. What do you have here, boy? It was a good call to follow my dog. I saw that his paws were red. Check this out. I almost give up. Now, for example, if you watch my last video in here, the creek was near my shelter. That shelter was around a mile and a half from here. So this was a pretty long walk. My new shelter is around two miles from here. So 
I'm gonna drink as much as I can and I'm gonna bring as much water as I can. I can hear quick over there, so I won't just drink water from here. I'm gonna continue straight up to see what we got. Perfect. I'm gonna also take some of it to the shelter. That was a long walk. Now let's cover the shelter with spruce needles and let's try to get a fire going. Okay, I covered it up and I left this I'll call it living room with no needles. I'm gonna show you when I light the fire why I did that. Now, I covered all the part where I'm gonna sleep so there is enough space for me and my dog and the weather is just perfect. There'll be no rain, so I'm not worried about that. And this is the entrance. So now let's try to get a fire going. First thing first, let's clean the area at least six feet in diameter around the spot where I'm gonna light the fire because we don't want a forest fire. You can see that these trees are burned and that's because the forest fire and we don't want that. All right guys, let's see how this little fire still works. Okay give some strong sparks and we have that little tinder so let's get the fire going I over here nice little tinder bundle tinder just nice little piece of cotton check who like the shelter <laughs> So I mentioned that I didn't put any of needles in my living room and here's the reason, it's not winter anymore and if this cuts a little spark you can see that temperature, you can see that heat and inside here I'll be roasted like a chicken. Okay boys and girls, we have a fire going. Now I'm gonna try to make some tea till I find some needles you see that watermark over here if you like this vid subscribe hit the like button comment what you think and I'm glad that you're here again now I'm gonna try to get some tea time to put this little blade in use Okay guys, I have to make stand for my pot and you have to be extremely careful with these blades I don't know if it will focus, they're just razor sharp They have to work bit by bit but Of course, they're the nothing I have this hook and I have to make a notch Okay guys, so we were able to light a fire, to build a shelter, to even cook something and for me 
that's pretty enough. So travel kits really cost nothing, so it's very nice to have it on your backpack or on your belt. It weights nothing, so if you ask me, thumbs up, this passes the test. You can't, of course, replace your saw or knife with this small kit, but just in case, if you know how to use it, it will be a nice little pack. Thanks again to give your best for single one for challenge. I'll leave links in the description. That's it guys for today's vid. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, comment what you think, and also check one of these two vids if you like what I do. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Okay, I'm back in this pine forest, which is very... That's funny. Yeah, let's do it again.